Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing about orphan page analysis. But before beginning further, let us first understand what exactly is an orphan page. So orphan page basically are such pages of a website which serves the least user value. In other words, these pages contains the highest bounce rate, these pages contains the lowest time spent, these pages serves no user value and most importantly these pages literally serves no relevance to your business or to your services or to your niche whatsoever might be the case. Today we'll be understanding from Subhajit some of the ways by which orphan pages can be underlined and also some of the best practices to make sure that a campaign is freed from any kind of orphan pages. So now we are going to talk about uh, like an important on-page SEO, you know, fix as I can say, which is known as an on, like which we call orphan pages. So there are various kinds of uh, like uh, like mistakes you will find in, like while while doing a complete on-page yeah, like SEO audit of your website. So what are actually orphan pages? Orphan pages are basically unlinked pages, or let's say these are pages with the lowest bounce rates, or so sorry, not the lowest bounce rate, but the highest bounce rates, or with the pages which doesn't really get much traffic at all or is not linked to your main content so basically it's just that if you ever visualize the interlinking structure of a website you will see that the, the, like there is a bunch of nodes and a bunch of uh, like bubbles all around or like all sticking together in linked by certain lines often pages are those which are not linked to your main content or your main home page those the, like those are particularly separate and that's why they are called often they are simply not linked and since they are not linked to the main pages of your site they do not get as much traffic and those are simply difficult to crawl for google as well so the like as you can understand uh, it basically tells about the, the disadvantages of having such pages in your website basically it increases first of all it increases the crawl budget uh, because google cannot uh, crawl these pages directly as they don't as they are not linked to your home page or like any other main pages it has a high bounce rate and it doesn't get uh, like much traffic at all because it uh, like it, it like it, because it may or may not be indexed so how to fix orphan pages? How, first of all, you need to identify the orphan pages. They, like there are tools in the SEO industry which you can use. I, I suppose Screaming Frog is the best of them. If you know how to run a Screaming Frog crawl, you probably know how to identify orphan pages. So that's uh, practically it. Another thing is that first of all, you, uh, how, uh, in order to fix orphan pages, you have to understand whether that content is either relevant to you or not. So if the content is relevant, you can either link to, uh, like to the content to like one of your main pages, specifically the category pages of your navigation otherwise if the content is not at all relevant you can either de like delete those pages either remove them uh, like through google search console or and also uh, you know include them in the robots.txt file so yeah that's uh, pretty much it about orphan pages and how to fix them some of the key takeaways from orphan page analysis is that orphan pages should always be dissolved in other words if you spot orphan pages on your campaign, either merge them to a meaningful content, either delete them or either make sure that they are 301 redirected to any similar page within your website because if you keep orphan page on your campaign, this would be causing a great harmful for your campaign in terms of crawl budget, in terms of index bloat and also in terms of your ranking because unnecessary indexation of any page of your website is something which Google or even any of the search engines does not like. So hence. Follow these strategies and make sure your campaign does not contains any orphan pages or zombie pages which is also known as zombie pages. Thank you.